Hey guys, it's Magenta Purple Rose here, and wow, Thanksgiving Bing Day has come um, at last for me. And it has come at last. But it's not just Thanksgiving Bing, everyone. Today is my three year anniversary of becoming a YouTuber. I joined in 2016, now it's 2019. Whoa, three year. It's been three years since I've been a YouTuber. Anyways, today I'm going to be reading Chapter 8 of Two Hearts and a Tail. Hopefully this will be better. And better than the last chapters. I doubt that it, that it is. Anyways, let's get started. Oh, before we do, I'm going to leave the link to my and then to that story in the description down below. And just click it and it'll take you right to the story. Okay, so you guys can read it for yourselves. But just a quick warning, there are some mistakes that I still need to fix. Please ignore the mistakes. Anyways, but anyways, let's go ahead and get started, shall we? Chapter 8, Coraletta the Mermaid Witch. The four heroes and the royal fam and the royal family swam for almost two hours as they sw as they were swimming their way to the home of the mermaids. After another hour, they had reached their destination. The place nearly looked like an abandoned coral reef, but they were but there were several caves, and on a far hill of rock was a large skeleton of what seemed to be a prehistoric fish that died many years ago. Inside was strangely glowing pink. The four heroes and the princesses were curious, but the queen just remained the same. She swam inside as everyone slowly followed while the mermaid citizens whispered quietly to themselves, curious why the queen, her family, and four surface beings are doing in their part of the ocean. Magenta swam deeper inside before raising a hoof to stop everyone and put it against her mouth, then letting a shh. They nodded and watched the sea pony queen swim deeper inside. The queen soon made her way towards a room that seemed to be a throne room. It was decorated with seaweed and beautiful, gorgeous seashells. The throne was actually a giant clam with a soft bedding inside. In the clam was a female mermaid pony. She had a horn of a unicorn and fins that were shaped like a siren and like siren wings. Her coat was a bubblegum pink and her, fl and her flowing blonde mane was shining like the sun. Her, si her blue eyes were and it twinkled brightly as she put on light blue eyeshadow. She wore a necklace made of beautiful shells, and the center was a red sea star. Her eyes switched to the queen and widened at the sight of her before a smile stretched across her face. Magenta, so lovely to see you! She shrilled in delight. She swam out of her throne and hugged the queen. Magenta chuckled and hugged back before pulling away. Lovely to see you too, Coraletta, she greeted politely, but I am not alone. The mermaid was confused when the sea pony swam to the entrance, and with a loud whistle, everyone swam to her side and were amazed to see the mermaid pony. Coraletta was surprised before she smiled and bows down to them. Pleasure to meet you all. Come, let us have tea in the other room. Then everyone swam with her to another room. Five minutes later, I see Coraletta placed down her teacup on a rock table and looked at the group with a gentle look. Magenta had explained the issue when she decided that it was time to go visit the surface. Coraletta nodded and smiled. I have an idea to help you with that, old friend. She got up from her seat, which, which was another clam, and swam away from the room. They all followed, unaware of the four heroes, whose bubbles were growing thin from the air they're breathing. Soon, the mermaid queen stopped and, you, and using her hoof, she gently beaded on the door, making loud thumps 
until the door opened to reveal a surprise. A male merpony with an orange gold coat, a messy bright reddish orange mane and tail, and a single white spot streaking down his face swam out of the room. He adjusted his circular glasses with his white spotted front hooves as his darkish or agua blue eyes shifted up to the queen. He smiled before moving, thing a moving a strand of, of hair out of his face. Hello, mother. Is there something you need? He asked kindly. Magenta smiled before turning her head and her rose pink eyes widened and at the sight of the surface heroes' bubbles growing thinner from the air they're breathing. She gasped it quietly and her horn lights up bright red as the bubbles around her head had begun to get thicker, but not too thick, just enough to give them more air to breathe. Corletta explained the issue with the mer pony, and he nodded yes before turning around and swimming back inside. But not after he called out, Come inside, your come on inside, your majesties. Magenta raised a hoof and pointed to the ground, and as Leo nodded of what she sang before she and her children before she and her children swam inside. But as Frost watches, his ears were twitching quick and fast. What he's hearing is making him frown, and he turns to the entrance. Growls emitted from him, and a glare forms in his blue eyes. Ace had caught and the sight of this, and his expression grew and concerned of his aqua blue hedgehog buddy. What's up, Doc? he asked, concerned. But Frost didn't answer. He just pointed to the entrance where they came from. And two ocean blue eyes pierced through the darkness in a nasty glare. Leo, Ace, and Sonic turned around to see what Frost is looking at, and to their shock, Flash Sentry had swam out of the darkness and swam towards them. You good for nothing, sir! And sea dwellers! He yelled. Where is Twily and the Queen? And Relax, Sentry, they're just inside that room. Just as Sonic pointed towards the room, inside begin. What's coming inside? Many colors and loud booms were lighting up. Hold on, guys, let me rephrase that. Many colors were lighting up, and loud booms were being followed. Flash's eyes widened, and he swam towards the door when Leo swam in front of him. Sorry, Flash, but the Queen told us to remain out here until she and the princesses come out, he reasoned. Flash was just about to protest when Corletta suddenly swims out of the room. Her gaze was shifted towards the captain, and her eyes widened in surprise. Flash Sentry, my son! She cries out. Flash smiled and hugged Coraletta. Hello, Mom, he greets back. The heroes were surprised at the sight before Coraletta caught and caught on into this and chuckled. Why, yes, boys. Flash Sentry happens to be my son, along with Sunburst, the sea, the merpony you saw a while ago, she said with a smile. Flash shot them a prideful smirk and stuck up and stuck up his nose in the air. Frost and Leo growled quietly before they reversed back to their original positions when Magenta, her children, and Sunburst swim, uh, swam out of the room. And when they got out, their necklaces seemed different. They were sparkling in colors, and each one represented in a different color, despite the queen's necklace sparkling in a brightly beautiful rainbow. Twilight star charm was sparkling in a bright purple when she swam over to, over to Leo and smiled, making Flash form another nasty glare, which was quickly cut off by Corletta. Unknowingly to him, Magenta had explained of what happened while he was captain of her guards at the castle. Corletta was angry, but had to wait until everyone was away. Other than Twilight's star charm was sparkling purple, and Magenta's heart-shaped Pokeball sp sparkling a bright rainbow of colors. Each of the princess's charms were sparkling a different color. Sunset's mixed red and yellow sun was sparkling bright red. Starlight's mystical star was sparkling a bright magenta pink color. Trixie's blue star wand was sparkling a sky blue. And Rarity's blue diamond was sparkling like was sparkling a light grayish white. Rainbow, da 
that she's Cloud Rainbow Thunderbolt. Despite her rainbow colors, like her mother, was sparkling a bright ocean blue, and Fluttershy's butterfly was sparkling a bright yellow. Applejack's apple was sparkling a bright orange. Pinkie Pie's mane yellow. Little Balloon was sparkling a hot pink. So not as heart and music note was sparkling an aqua blue. And lastly, Obsidian's black lock was sparkling a bright gray. Spike was surprisingly wearing a purple ribbon with a golden medallion that's sparkling in bright to green. Sunburst swims out of the room with a bright smile before he adjusted his glasses and swam next to his brother. The thing is, everyone, I am not I am not just a queen. I usually prefer as Corletta, the mermaid witch. The answers seem to have gotten the surface heroes to smile and nod. Flash, despite not liking his mother being a witch, he was curious he was curious why the sea ponies hmm, sea pony queen's necklace and the other necklaces were sparkling. Sunburst cleared his throat and explained, I had made a special puff of magic to make the sea ponies into humans, but the side effects are, are when they touch water, some of their scales will appear. Flash's eyes widened and he swam up close to his younger brother. Then why did you make the potion? There's safer down here! Flash! Coraletta shrieked before grabbing her older son by the ear and dragged him away from his younger brother. Sunburst shook off the shock and looked, at, looked back at the group. As I was saying, to protect yourselves, you must keep away from water unless nobody notices you. I suggest you go swimming at night, during a fog or a cloudy day. No human can see the water through the fog very well. That should be easy. Barely anybody goes to the docks and back where I live, Leo advised. Flash didn't like this one bit, but he had to pretend this was okay for now. He looks at Sunburst and asks, Is there anything else Twily and the Sea Ponies should know? Yes, if anyone sees you doing something strange and catches you on a picture or video, the necklaces will give you the ability to erase the memory or put them to sleep, giving you time to get rid of the pictures and delete the videos so nobody finds out our existence. With that information, the sea ponies nodded, but R.D. still had a question. How do we turn into human and back into a sea pony? It's just like the side effects. Jump into the ocean, you turn into a sea pony. Pop out of in the water and climb onto the shores, you turn into, hu into a human. Everyone nodded, and with a final farewell, they all swam away with the mermaid guards leading the way. Flash was growling angrily before Coraletta smacked a hoof over his head and hissed. Son, come with me. Flash's ears flipped down. Despite him not being afraid, he was only afraid of his mother's anger. Sunburst had already swam back inside the potion room, while Flash and Coraletta swam somewhere else, so no other mermaid can watch the anger that is about to explode from the mermaid witch. Okay guys, that was chapter 8. I really hope you guys like it. I'm just surpri surprised that despite there were some mistakes in the orig on the page, I'm kind of surprised and happy that this actually turned out real good. <laughs> real good. Anyways, I will read chapter 9 in, in, the, next, in the next video. And I will see you guys... He's there. Happy Thanksgiving, everyone, everyone, and happy an and happy three-year anniversary for me when for being on YouTube for three years. Goodbye, everybody, and happy Thanksgiving.